Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel for another car events video. Today, we are going to Perrysville, Ohio for the Professional Car Society's National Car Show. Me and my dad and I are actually going to take the Fleetwood Limited there and hopefully put that in the show as well. I'm guessing there will be a lot of hearses and limousines and other cars like that there, so I think it will be really fun to see what exactly is at this show. I've never been there before, so it's going to be really exciting to walk around and see all these new cars. So without further ado, let's hit the road and go to the show. Slug bug, blue one. Guys, we just made it to the show. The Fleetwood Limited made it, as you can see. So we're gonna kind of walk around and see what kind of cool cars are here. Let's go ahead and take a look. Now let's take a look at this uh, six-door Deville. This was following us on the way up, and I noticed that uh, had a very unique color to it. Really pretty. The uh, owner said it was a funeral home car, of course. I think it was in Cleveland, and he uh, drives around his family and everything, and uses it for a highway cruiser. And I think that's what limousines are great for. You can. Get them for low mileage, really cheap price, and a ton of room. More room than you'd get probably in some SUVs. So very, very nice. I'll check out this ambulance. A 60s Cadillac. And uh, someone pointed out the alternator is huge on this thing in order to make enough power for all the lights and sirens. Also have two batteries up front as well. But I love these Cadillac ambulances. They're just so cool that they had Cadillacs back in the day and many other cars too but you'd never see anything like this today just look at those mirrors look like they're right out of a truck or something and I just love those lights on the rear that still looks Cadillac like it's designed to look like Cadillac taillights check that out oh and I also wanted to mention that this is actually the international meet of the uh, professional car society so you actually may have cars from Canada even or around the world but I'm sure the border might actually still be closed so maybe there won't actually be cars from other countries but uh, there may be people from other countries which is pretty cool and uh, for those of you who don't know uh, professional cars are basically the kind of cars that you'd uh, buy to make money off of for example you'd uh, have funeral home service cars like limousines and hearses or you could also have cars like the Fleetwood Limited which were used basically uh, to haul people around to chauffeur with so uh, there's a kind of a wide variety of different cars that can be professional cars so very interesting stuff that we'll see at this show very unique and I'm excited to show you guys around I have a 2000s DeVille hearse here pretty cool this is beautiful same company that made the stretch on the Fleetwood Limited now this doesn't have like a divider or anything in between the seats that's interesting when you have the uh, table some of the lower end uh, it, you would just flip the seat forward to make room for this to come around. Uh, oh, I see. Well, look, here's the a power seat control, and you can move the seat oh, forward, wow. even though it's a bench seat, so that way uh, there's room for the table to come around the uh, around the bench. Wow, that's neat. When you pull this, Let's see, he released it. Okay. Wow. Wow. What happened was because of the weight of the casket and being at curb height for churches and so forth the casket and the whole hearse would tilt so they have what's called level matic on there in which case you turn the knob to the side that it's tilted on and I push a button and then underneath the hood I'll show you there's a hydraulic reservoir right here Wow! and this is the pump for the level matic Wow. So what it does is it levels it out like this. Automatically. Right, so that they can take it off level and not on an angle. Yeah. It's called crinkle, so you said? Like yeah, crinkle. crinkle. Wow, I've never heard of it. Wow, so it's not vinyl. Not a vinyl top. I didn't even notice it. Only Superior did this, where they went way into the roof. Only Superior. Yes. 
So it gave you more loading room because other, your roof is coming down to this uh, point. Okay. So now you've got, when you have the big piece of flowers big on the Big flowers, casket, that's right. Yes. You've got an extra maybe four inches. Our friend Paul is extremely knowledgeable, so we're going to hang around him and see what he has to say. I think this could be ordered at the at the owner's option of having it hinged here or here. Yes. Still, yes, right? Yes, most of them, yeah. Right. Wow. Oh, it's Beautiful. carpeted. Was it carpeted originally? It should have, it should have this material on it. Really? Uh, that's yeah. that's yeah. mohair, right? Is that, yeah. This is mohair. Yeah, yeah. I should, uh, but it, that's what was on here, but it just rips and it's not the best. Oh, so nice. that's the purpose that I saw you had that on the door, but didn't have anything written on it. So is that what the, they had the name of the funeral home on there? Was that no, the idea? No, no they, they, just, they just did that. Yeah, okay. I did. Yeah, so you couldn't You're get stuck. through. You're stuck. You're <laughs> stuck. You couldn't get through. So that mirror actually tilts to actually make it easier to see out the side of the car with the mirror in the driver's position. So that's actually neat that it can move back and forth. Same as this one over here too. You can see this one's tilted more than the white one. It was an option of 59. So the car is getting judged. Go ahead, brakes. Yeah, let's check it. No brakes though. No brakes. You got turn signals. But turn signals, but no brakes. Just don't Everybody stop and you'll be all right. A lot of ambulances up here. This is pretty cool. <laughs> Apparently this is a Packard. Never seen a Packard ambulance before. You can tell this is really original. Original interior too. Wow. It's probably what's called a combination car. It has seats in the back, but those seats fold down. Just change the signs in the windows, and all of a sudden you, you've got a hearse, or all of a sudden you've got an ambulance one wow. or the other. What year is this? Is this, is this is Brady's car. One of the last years of the Cadillac ambulances, uh, the owner just said that 79 was the last year, and this is a 77, so kind of cool to see one of the last ones. These ambulances are cool, but there's a lot less room in this one than uh, some of the older ones like that one. But still enough room for the gurney and uh, the doctor to sit up there. That's that's really neat. This was the finest transport ambulance ever built. Really? Yeah. Why is that? Smooth, efficient, round, wonderful, right, oh, run door. like a scalded ape, and uh, it had enough equipment to do what you need to do. Oh. And uh, you know, when I, we started putting people in the back of trucks and beating them into paralysis, taking them to the hospital, <laughs> we sure missed the old Cadillacs. Mm -hmm. And but of all the Cadillacs I worked in back in the day, this was the best, best, best rig ever. Wow. This came out of Fairhope, Alabama, sitting behind the fire station in Fairhope, Alabama. I think Brady got it for twenty-five hundred dollars, wow. and he re restored it to its former, former beauty. Yeah. Oh, those seats actually look comfortable. They're uh, <laughs> nicer than the uh, jump seats in the Fleetwood Series 75. They actually have some padding to them. That's actually nice. <laughs> so a steel company had their own ambulance. 1960. There's flexible. Flexible. F L X. And what does that mean? What is it's that? The name of the company. The name of the company. Oh. And they're, they were made seven miles from here. Loudly, the, the Loudonville, Ohio. Wow. That's neat. And why would why would a steel company have their own ambulance? Would people get hurt that often, or? I think the usual story is these companies were required by either state or local law to have an ambulance uh, on hand because they could have serious injuries on a fairly frequent basis maybe. Uh, in reality, these cars sat at those places and were virtually never used. The Buick. Look at that, one of the lights front is a red one. That's cool. So they must not have had a high beam or something. Wow, that's so interesting. That's a beautiful look actually. I love that grill. They notice there's an ashtray back there still right by the patient. So you can uh, lay back there, go into the hospital and smoke. Help yourself relax a little bit. That's so funny. Another beautiful Buick. Look at that. This is all original. Wow, it's beautiful. Guys, this is hydraulic. 
in that system and that door failed. Really? It's a hydraulic window? Uh, yeah, it's hydraulic windows. Oh. And it was sitting up there Tuesday morning when I left it. It was tucked off the trailer. It was up, came out. A couple hours later, it was down in it. Yeah, that's what it looked like originally. Wow. Wow. It was Good pretty straight, you. except for the door up here. It was straight. Wow. Amazing restoration. Look at this stark green. That's beautiful. Wow, I love that color. It's really beautiful. It's called Glencoe Green. Wow. It's a Cadillac color from 1960. Amazing. Were you in the funeral home business too? No. No, no not at all. I, I'm a car guy, and I always tell people I'm a big car guy, and you can't get any bigger than these, and so these are the cars yes. I have. Does anybody wow. Have trust? Wow. He's got it packed up, but this is all... It's original? All original. Wow. Everything's original but the paint. Eureka. No, you had, you had the it most done. beautiful oh, interiors of really of all of the sure. Oh, it look, looks gorgeous. Look yeah, I love the lights. Look at the interior there. Look, take oh. a close up of that light. Wow, there. That's, those are just and the fabric. I mean, that must have taken a lot of work. Yeah. I mean, wow. Eureka was pretty much the top of the line, Tom, wasn't it? In terms of expense, yeah, actually, SNS. SNS was more really, expensive. yeah, the Victoria was more expensive, not by much, but it was. I like the double mirrors. That's, that's well, well, that's what we were talking yeah. about. Now, with this being down here where it is, now, there's no way to see it. There's a direct line between here and here to the driver's head. <laughs> why, they, why did they mount it there instead of putting it right. out here like everybody else did? Yeah. I don't know. Wow. And that's all original. Those doors are just beautiful. I love that. Wow. Yep, there you go. That's incredible. Yes, that's what we were talking about. It's amazing. I've never seen an Oldsmobile ambulance before like this. This is actually kind of cool. Check that out. Huge light on top. That is cool. I love that. Look. Here's the inside of the Oldsmobile. Looks perfect. That's neat. So our friend Paul here, he uh, is really knowledgeable. He's been in the club, uh, Professional Car Society, for a long time. He knows pretty much all these cars and all the people, so it's really nice hanging around him and getting to hear what he knows about these cars. You guys can learn about them uh, the same as I am. But uh, so far, I'm loving this show. It's amazing how many different cars are here, uh, ambulances, limousines, and hearses. I mean, it's stuff I've hardly ever seen. And so hopefully you guys are enjoying it too. I know it's a little bit different, but we've had some limousines on the channel before, so hopefully you guys are uh, enjoying them just like uh, I am. So. Let's keep on looking around. And this should remind you guys of the uh, Fleetwood we had on the channel. This is actually like blue instead of black, like ours. This doesn't have the maroon color. Wow. It has the same uh, uh, air ducts in the back, which swivel around. SMS though. This car I've known since I joined the club in 82. 61? Sixty-one. Burn paperwork tossed. I like that. Isn't this one best to show the first PCS? I really like the color of this Fleetwood limousine, and it also has the presidential top on it. Very similar to the uh, Deville down the hill by uh, where we parked. I think I like the looks of the regular. Fleetwood limousine from then, but the this top definitely gives you extra room, which is nice. Ooh, yeah. Oh, that's a nice shape. Now this is an older model, older Fleetwood, since it has a different steering wheel as the 96 that I showed you guys. Now that vent, I wonder why they covered up this vent here when all these controls are on that one. So I must not be able to have that duct there anymore. I got permission to open the door. Oh, feels nice. This seat flips. You can either face rearward like it is now, or it can face forwards like normally. I don't know if you have seat belts when facing uh, backwards. You might not. You can also see the tracks there. Now this is something I've never seen before. Looks like a uh, hearse suburban, which is pretty sweet. Haven't heard of a uh, funeral home doing that before, which is so interesting. I guess it did give a good amount of space. You wouldn't have to spend the money for a Cadillac that had to be uh, stretched and uh, made a little bit larger. Here's an older Series 75. 
This is beautiful. Looks like a sedan version. It doesn't have the uh, divider window. Never seen a Fleetwood flower car like this. That is unique. Looks pretty normal on the inside here on the front. Have a window back there. Still have a door here. I'm guessing to open and uh, get the flowers out from the front, maybe. Oh no. Maybe there's a storage area in here. Maybe you can fit stuff here. I don't know. And this was a brome. So they cut up an expensive Fleetwood. That is so unique. So another superior, uh, 92 maybe, 91, 92. Oh, ah. okay, that'd be really new then. Wow. I can tell by the headlights, right? Okay, you tell me. I'm gonna guess uh, 90. 92. 92. Oh, come on, Dad. Wrong year. You should have known. Oh. Yes, I agree. The, uh, wow. So what year did they do the single headlights? See, I thought that's when they started that in 90. You know how you know it's a 92? 92 was when it was in the door. It was supposed to be an automatic yeah. seatbelt that you would leave it buckled. Yeah. And when you would get in the car, you would already, you were already buckled in because uh, the belt was connected to the wow. door. Really that's neat. The problem they had with that, the door would swing open and you'd fly out of the car. Look at that. Now this is a little bit older than our Fleetwood Series 75. You can tell by the headlights they're different. A little bit wider, they're uh, separated and not squared off. Wow. Seats are pretty gorgeous. I like the kind of curved dashboard there. That's nice. Wow. Now I'm backtracking a little bit. I uh, just noticed this now, but uh, this DeVille has a very similar chrome grille cap as the uh, Fleetwood Limited. So, kind of see that it's extra big there. Looks pretty much exactly the same, and I just love the looks of it. Definitely makes the front of the car stand out a little bit more. And I'm not sure if this is a superior coach stretch. S and S, nope, so they did a similar thing. So this hearse that just pulled up, uh, I can immediately tell it's a 1969, just from those headlights in the front end. Very, uh, very nice look. My uh, dad had a 1969 Fleetwood, and he would always point them out when uh, you could see them. So it's kind of cool to see a 69 hearse. Check out the inside. Wow. Interesting door shape. And apparently they added the vent windows to the car. Now that I'm back here, I also really like the style of the real rear tail lights on the 69s. It's kind of a cool tower look. What's amazing is the Pontiac logo hood ornament would actually light up at nighttime. The wire runs right up to it. And that's something that uh, Paul mentioned. So that's just such a cool feature that I uh, didn't realize they did back then. That's amazing. Never seen a Studebaker ambulance before. This must be rare. Amazing. Not as much room back there. You got to be kind of short to fit in this bed. He was saying if they had somebody who was a little too tall, they sometimes loaded the stretcher in the opposite direction so that the head was back here. Oh my goodness! And the feet could come down here. This car has some very interesting history to it. Um, apparently, it was made here in the states. Um, and then actually shipped over to Japan because um, I guess in Japan, Japanese society, people like to actually ride in the hearse with the family member who has passed away. As you can see, there are seats in the back and in the front. And that's where the family would sit and then it's just extra long to be able to accommodate for the person in the back. So 
Really neat, this car was then shipped back to the States at some point, but um, kind of amazing that this car has been just all around the world. So we just said it was in Kyushu, Japan. I have no idea where that is, but that's pretty interesting. And he said this is a curb feeler up here. I guess it would lower maybe, somehow? That looks cool, look at that. I love those lights. It was made in uh, Ravenna, Ohio. Wow. Well, this is beautiful. My friend has one just like this, but he doesn't have the nameplate. The back doors on mine are exactly the same as this one. No kidding. Except mine's a silver. Wow. Silver gray, and it's all wood on the inside. Well, that's gorgeous, and all the felt, and the, wow, that's amazing. Yeah. Beautiful. Look at the gloss on the wood. That's, and that, this is all real wood, of course, right? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Well, this fell out not far from here. Uh, restored this, took it 16 months. And what year would this have been built in? Uh, 1912. 1912, okay. Wow. Last time it was used was in 1918 during the Spanish flu pandemic. Sat in the barn for a hundred years, literally. Mm -hmm. In 2018, they got it out and started restoring it off. Wow. This storage compartment here. Well, that's a good amount of storage. Wow. Yeah, it is. That's yeah. Really beautiful. So, thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that. Of course. I love that steering wheel. That is beautiful. And the uh, selectors for the radio the presets spell out Buick. This is from the actual museum at Indianapolis, okay, wow. Speedway. And the sister car to this one. It's the sister car to this one. It was one wow. of, you know, they only made a few of them in 1960. And this, wow. is, this was this was short, standard wheelbase, same. This was at an actual wreck and a crash on the field in sure. 1961. Real nice look on the 69. This might be the last hearse that we haven't looked at, guys, besides... Uh, that one, I guess you can call that a hearse too. And somebody custom ordered this car with a mohair interior. Wow. Peek into the back. The entire inside compartment is Wow. Mohair. I like how the radio is right there inside of the uh, cockpit. I guess they called this the cockpit dashboard. Very neat. Look at that. So it brings it right out to you. Wow. And this technology actually came out in the 30s. 30s. Wow. This and the, the, the leveling. Hydraulics mm -hmm. are missing right now. Mm -hmm. But my other one has it. I think I'm going to probably... Oh, for the leveling. Yes. Yeah. Now this Fleetwood is extremely special because it has the real wood and it even has the fold-down tables in the back and footrests. Yeah. How you doing? I mean, that's very cool. They came off. One came, one was off. Okay. And then uh, did I just pop back in? Yeah, I know. I have to get it. There's a table oh, and the that, footrest that right there. I love that. So I'm allowed to get in here. Look at that. Wow. Wow. Look at that and a light. I could do homework back here for college. Yeah. Wow. That is amazing. Wow, that is nice. <laughs> this is gorgeous. <laughs> this is wonderful. I could sit back here forever. Now this is gorgeous. 68,000 miles. Auto dimming. Amazing how the second wife doesn't like what the first wife like and doesn't want anything around from the first wife. Beautiful I car. I had to sell their house. First Cadillac I ever drove. So I looked and looked and looked, could never find that blue and the white. And uh, so then I came across this and I loved it when I seen it. Bought it sight unseen. Wow. It was one of those things that I didn't even send someone to go to look at. Wow. I trusted the guy on the phone. Well, again, thank you for letting me sit inside the back of the car. That was cool. That was really cool. I mean, it's, it's gorgeous. 
All right, guys. Well, I think we looked at pretty much everything here. A lot of really awesome cars, very unique cars. Uh, of course, mostly limousines, hearses. I hope you guys actually enjoyed that. I certainly did. I'd never seen cars at all like this before, so it's just so unique to have gotten to come to this show. And I hope that you guys have enjoyed it as well. So please comment down below. Let me know if you enjoyed it. And if you want to see more cars like this in the future, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Right before we arrive. <laughs> yeah, the ice shifted. Oh. Nice. Here we go. Uh oh. Don't lock those in there. <laughs> I just have keys, man.